All right, guys, what's going on? Welcome in. So the Miami Dolphins just made a huge splash. They brought in Will Fuller, signing him to a one-year contract north of $10 million, according to Ian Rappaport. Of course, the finances aren't fully released yet, but we have to call it like we see it. This is a huge, huge move for the Miami Dolphins. One of the big four wide receivers off the board. We saw Curtis Samuel go last night, three-year contract, 37.5 mil to Washington. Now Will Fuller's off the board. All that's left, Kenny Galladay and Juju Smith-Schuster. Kenny Galladay looks like he's narrowing down his uh, options between the New York Giants and the Cincinnati Bengals. So, Will Fuller's going to Miami. He is suspended for the first game of the season, but this now gives the Miami Dolphins not only just a, you know, a deep threat on the outside, a nice little counterpart to Devontae Parker, but... The Dolphins all of a sudden are not handcuffed to taking a receiver at spot number three, whether it's Jamar Chase or Waddle or uh, even a Kyle Pitts. I know people just lump him into the uh, tight end category, but he's more than that. Or even Devontae Smith, you know. The Miami Dolphins can now go out and draft Panay Sewell with that third overall pick or trade down and not like worry like, oh my God, we only have Devontae Parker and Gasecki and that's it. Now they have that deep throw on the outside. So taking my jet my my jet cap off for a second Dol Miami they made a sweet sweet move this this move is definitely going to benefit the team I feel like Tua needs all the help that he can get as well um great move for the Miami Dolphins one year north of 10 mil again the finances have not been released so I don't know what that final number is we'll see what we'll see what it comes down to but uh let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section thanks so much for watching and as always go Jets